Hey everybody, welcome to the seventh and the last planned episode in this series on how to live with Git and Subversion in parallel. Uh, this is uh, the last uh, screencast I, I planned to make, but um, if a lot of if I get a lot of feedback and, and questions about related topics, could also be about things on Git in general. I might be doing more uh, screencasts in the future, but I haven't planned anything specific for now. Um, today we're just we're going to look at the last step in converting to Git, which is leaving uh, Subversion behind, uh, doing like a full migration. And bear in mind that this is not something that I've done personally at work yet, uh, and I don't think we will be doing it in the in the well in the near future because we have a lot of lock in to Subversion. Uh, with uh, you know training to do and 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 scripts to change and routines to change before we can before we even have a chance of leaving subversion behind. So this is uh, for for you people who are really ready to leave subversion behind permanently and uh, you know working on small projects and or have a very easy to change organization small organizations. So um, to uh, we're going to repeat the step we did in the last um, screencast, which is basically taking um, a uh, a project out of this repository, and we're going to do a git svn clone of it, and just look at what comes out. So we got twelve revisions from Subversion that we clone into this uh, website git repository. And if we have a look at the log, we see a, a bunch of uh, rem remains from Subversion. Uh, for instance, these uh, Subversion metadata meta tags on each commit. And also the author has a very weird looking email address and, and still has his old uh, Subversion username. So. Uh, let's have a look first at how we can get rid of this uh, git uh, subversion uh, metadata because that's not anything we really need anymore. So I'm just going to go back and remove the, the git clone again and then we're going to repeat this the git subversion clone. Although this time we're going to add a parameter called uh, no metadata. Okay. The clone takes place. Let's have a look inside and see what it looks like now. Oop. Git log. There we go. All the git svn lines are now gone. Leading to a you know much less cluttered and more readable uh, log. So let's have a look at these usernames. If there's anything we can do about those, I'm gonna remove this website thing again. Now. Um, I, at this point, I want to give, give some credit to uh, a, a certain Thomas Rast that I ran into on the Git RSC channel some time ago. He has written a very good page where I basically uh, stolen all of the content of this uh, uh, Gitcast to make. And in this article, he explains several tricks you can do uh, on the path of getting away from subversion and into Git. And among other things, is this little a neat little script that goes through your subversion log and, and creates this um, this author map file, basically a text file that says uh, what subversion username corresponds to what git uh, author uh, ID or description or whatever. So I've converted the scripts into uh, something a bit more friendly to my uh, repository here. So basically, I'm going to log, um, go through the SVN log of my company repo, and I'm going to pipe all the information into this author map file. So uh, let's do that. Just uh, run this script, run very quickly, and we ended up with this author map file here. So this part is my subversion username. Um, this part corresponds to uh, the, the git name. So here I will put in my full name and also my G email address I would like to use for this conversion. So now I have my author map file. Now I can repeat the git svn clone 
passing in big a uh, as a parameter with the name of the file author map. There we go. The import takes place again. Now uh, let's go in and have a look at the git log now. There we go. A much neater, nicer uh, git log now where we have proper uh, names and email addresses and uh, not um, we don't have this cluttery subversion information in the in the commits anymore. So um, there are other steps you can take to uh, clean up uh, your repository after having left subversion behind. Uh, more steps are described in the, in this article, which I will uh, link to on my blog. And there you can do stuff like uh, uh, drop important is history, uh, filtering out empty commits, and convert uh, subversion tag branches into being proper git tags. Um, I'm not going to go into that because I haven't done any of that. Uh, like I said, we're still in in the situation where we have to live with subversion and, and Git in parallel. So uh, that's all I'm going to cover in this uh, last uh, screencast. So uh, for you who's been uh, been watching through uh, these videos, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you got any requests for um, stuff that you would like me to present, um, if I would happen to make another screencast, then please uh, leave a comment on the blog or on the video or, or something like that. So, thanks for watching.